Garden of Gethsemane in Jerusalem, Israel. This is the place where Jesus was betrayed. This is the place where he wept before going to Calvary the next day. Here it is that Jesus made the decision to go to the cross. We read in Matthew, Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground, and he prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup of blessing, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Could you men not keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if it's not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were so heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed a third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour is near, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Many theologians believe that our salvation was won for us here at the Garden of Gethsemane. Behind me you can see olive trees, some of them perhaps growing from the same root system that was there during the days of Jesus 2,000 years ago. It's here that he agonized over his decision to go to the cross, and it's here that he decided to suffer for you and for me. He would go on the next day to die on a cross, paying the price for yours and for your sins and for mine. The third day he would rise again. But the decision to do that was made right here, the Garden of Gethsemane. When you and I have tough decisions to make in our lives, may our prayer be the same as the prayer of our Lord's. Not my will, but yours be done.